For our next step in developing our surreal compositions, we'll be looking at the medium of collage. Collage is a technique of art production where an artwork is assembled from different forms, often other pictures as will be the case with the work that we produce. Collage has proved to be a popular medium amongst surreal artists. Collage is a simple medium that can be incredibly effective in producing good surreal compositions. Such exponents of this medium are people like John Stizaker and Jerry Allsman, who we're going to be looking at in this video. British-born John Stizaker uses found photographs, postcards and film stills to create surreal artworks. Stizaker often juxtaposes portraits with landscapes. Facial features are replaced by geographical features or buildings. In the left hand picture, a rocky arch replaces the eyes of the woman, allowing us to see through to an alternative landscape. In the picture on the right, cliff faces replace the human faces of the two people in the photograph. Compositionally, the photograph on the right is very similar to the works of René Magritte, who would often cover faces of the people in his paintings. In his case, he would use cloths or fabrics to cover their face, or sheets, whereas John Stazaker looks at more uh, geographical forms. Next lesson, you will be producing surrealist portraits in the style of John Stazaker. Before next lesson, you will need to collect images that you'll be able to use in class. You will need a mixture of portraits and landscapes or buildings. Aim for at least three of each. American photographer Jerry Allsman produces surreal landscapes. In the 1950s and 60s, Jerry Allsman began to produce his surreal photo montages. Back then, he had to use a darkroom and hundreds of photographic negatives. It was a very time-consuming process. Today, with the advent of digital photography, you can produce an Allsman style photo montage within an hour, and this is something we're going to attempt to do. Like John Stazaker, Jerry Allsman uses juxtaposition in his work. But looking at these two images on the screen now, what other surreal techniques does he use? As I've just mentioned, we are going to attempt work in the style of Jerry Allsman and we'll be using the computer for this. Before next lesson, you'll also need to collect images for this task and save it onto a USB. So things like landscapes or geographical features that interest you. Can be in colour, does not just have to be black and white like the examples I'm showing you here. Collage can be a very effective medium and very simple to use. The skill is in the images you choose and how you lay out your composition. So remember the composition rules you've recently learned. What are these rules? You may find when making your surreal collages that your composition happens very quickly and within a matter of minutes you have produced a finished piece. And that is absolutely fine. You may find it takes a little bit longer. Again, that is fine. As long as the image is good, of course. And surreal. The trick is to keep the image simple. You should limit yourself to two or three elements within your composition. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will enjoy the process of finding and selecting the images you wish to work from. You should, of course, also use this time to research Jerry Allsman and John Stazaker more thoroughly. The images you select can also be related to the work we've already done in class if you wish. So if you might be stuck for ideas, by all means use the compositions you've already developed on Serif Photo Plus and within your portfolio.